Hey, I'm Tim from Melanie Ann Home Life, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Shotis blinds from IKEA so you can turn your window from this to this. So these blinds that I got are 35 and a half inches by 74 and three quarter inches or 90 centimeters by 190 centimeters. So the tools we're going to use today, tape measure, cutting board, sharp knife, pen or pencil to mark your measurements, some paper towel, and some cleaner. Okay, so first things first, Ikea was uh, kind enough to put their instructions right on the label, which is pretty good. There's four steps, very easy, and it should only take us about three minutes a window to do this. So I'm not too sure if you can see this or not, but I've got two hooks in here. I'm going to take those off. We don't need them anymore. I don't know if you can see outside or not. It is a chilly fall day here in Southern Ontario. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, paper towel and your cleaner. Clean the bottom of your sill right here. Sorry, so you're going to clean the top because the adhesive sticks up here. So you want to make sure that you give this a really good wipe. Make sure it's all nice and clean. And we're going to clean this up down here as well. You have three adhesive pads that will get stuck to this sill. So when opening up your packages of blinds, um, I found it easier to open up the end with the Velcro and the clips in it. Um, there's a bag that covers everything and then these items are in another separate bag. So if you just slice down the side here with your sharp knife, careful not to cut your blinds. Pull that back. There's bag one. Velcro and two clips. And your blinds are in another bag. So you're going to measure your window frame, the inside, and my window frame is 28 inches. So here's my blind. We're going to measure 28 inches. You want to, you want to cut the side with the tag on it. Uh, if it's longer, I'll show you a trick in a couple of minutes on how to get this tag off before you cut. But uh, right now we're just gonna measure our 28 inches. Okay, so there's our 28 inches. I'm just gonna put a little pen mark there. I'm gonna go one little Okay, so here's our mark. We're going to cut right here. Again, if you can remember to do this, make sure you cut the side off that has this tag. Okay, so then you take your really sharp knife and you hold it. And if you saw it, you're going to leave saw marks. If you can push it all through at once, push it all through at once. There it is. And it's got a little bit of ruffle there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's okay because once it's open, nobody's even going to notice it. So one side has adhesive on it and one side does not. So you're going to take the adhesive side and you're going to st stick it to the top of your window right here along the trim and you're going to stick it to the top window right here along the trim. So you want to peel your adhesive off and depending on your window you can put depends on where you put the adhesive so you can put it so that the, the corner is in the back or you can put it so the corner is in the front. If you have a large um, opening at the top 
then you want to put it so the corner is at the front. If you have a short opening at the top, you'll want to put it so that the corner is at the back and then the adhesive will could wrap around up if you wanted it to, or you could just leave it and cut it off after. So my opening right here is large enough. I am going to put my adhesive into the back. So set this in here, like so. Push it all the way to the back. And then go across. Push it on and just let it fall down a bit. Then you want to come back and squeeze it on as good as, as best you can to that surface. Trying to get it all the way across. So again, I put the corner to the back. So you've got your two clips. I normally put them in about four pleats like that so that um, the tab is on the top. And then you repeat it for the other side. Like so. Now comes the tricky part. So the Velcro strip that comes inside the package is six inches long. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut each piece two inches. And then just use your sharp knife to cut your line. Doesn't have to be exact. There we go. And then just use your sharp knife to Cut your line. Doesn't have to be exact. There we go. So here's your three sticky pieces. You want to take them, just undo the sticky from one side. And then you want to turn your tab over and place it in the center of the tab and stick it down as hard as you can and then peel off the sticky from the bottom side and then do the same in the center peel the sticky from the bottom so we're going to stick it into the center right here and then you want to Peel the sticky backing off again. Okay, so last and final, peel the sticky, put it on the bottom and the center of your tab. Peel the bottom side of the sticky off again. Then you're gonna wanna pull your lines down to where they're going. Just like so. And you stick one side down. And then go to the center. Make sure that's where you want it to go. And then like so. Ta-da. There you have your new blinds. So I'm doing various size windows today with these blinds. I've come across one problem. I'm going to show you the solution I found for that problem. So here's the problem. The label, it's sewn in. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's sewn in right here. Um, if you pull it, it's just going to tear the bottom of your blinds. You could cut it across here, but I think the easiest way to do it is to very carefully and slowly pull out this thread so it doesn't tear your blinds. So again, you'd only have to do this if your window, if you had to cut your blinds with less than three and a half inches from the edge. So here we go. I'm gonna use some nails. Nail.
And there we have it. Hey everybody, thanks again for tuning in today. I... Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in and watching me put up the blinds today. I'm Tim from l and Home Life, and I just want to say thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to give you a quick update on what Mel's doing. She is... She's bought a bunch of mats, doormats from Ikea, and she's using her Cricut to make stencils, and she's making patterns on here. So if you want to see how she does this, really good Christmas gifts, if you want to see how she does this, leave a comment. Thanks again for watching.